Oh hey, it's Hal from Mud Amps. You might well ask, what does this broom have to do with your amps? And that would be a very good question. But the answer is, today we're going to talk about sweep tubes, which are your friend. Stay tuned. Okay, so what are you on about sweep tubes? Well, here's a sweep tube right here. Sweep tubes were used in old TVs to control the horizontal and the vertical. You've heard that before from an old TV show. The cool thing about sweep tubes is that to keep the high voltages away from each other um, down on the base, they took the plate connection which is normally down here on a regular tube and they put it up here so it gets a top plate cap now if you look at these they're pretty sturdy inside the plates because they were made to take high voltages um, some of them up around three to five thousand volts um, on a daily basis at, at peak not not all the time but at peak and they um, and were designed to give day-to-day -day service doing that for years so they're pretty uh, pretty sturdy tubes this one happens to be a 6BQ6 um, you can also get a 6DQ6 there's a variety of others uh, 6BG6G is another one that's really big and really um, will take a lot of, of voltage um, the ham radio guys really love these things because they will take uh, such high voltages um, periodically not all the time but but they they will stand up to a good bit of, uh, of power okay so now we're going to take a little bit closer look at the construction of the sweep tube um, see how fit the fins are really really sturdy uh, pretty beefy actually um, and to connect the plates to the output transformer um, there are actually some sockets to to use um, this is one of the very old ones and it is metal and as far as I'm concerned that's a no-no um, because you still uh, this still exposes your fingers to voltage um, if you're ever around it which you don't want to stick your hand in a working amp usually but um, this is this is definitely not good and sometimes you'll find these they're just a little claw looking thing that goes around there um, those were commonly used in old radios usually what you find in a tv is a socket with a bakelite cap and it goes right down on there this wire will go to the output transformer and those are much better um, the new ones you find today are made of ceramic and you're able to solder them to the wires that go to the output transformer. So those are probably the safest of all, but certainly the Bakelite ones um, cover the cap completely and uh, should you happen to touch it while it's on, you will not get shocked. And I'll, I'll show you that here in just a little bit. Um, but it makes a really cool looking amp, kind of Frankenstein-y as far as I'm concerned. Um, and why am I even talking about sweep tubes at all? Well, this 6BQ6 is really the electric equivalent of a 6V6, which is right here. Um, in fact, the 6V6s, they did use those in TVs too. However, um, they found that they needed to separate the voltages, hence the plate cap, and, uh, and these tended to work out much better. But if you want to use these in an amp, they do sound really good, and I'll show you how good they sound in just a minute. All right, what we have here is a little amp I put together. Um, I call this one the bass bolt because it's got elements of a Fender Bassman, the early early Fender Bassman, and uh, Valco or Supra Thunderbolt. Um, right now I've got two 6BQ6 tubes, see the plate caps. Um, if I was building this for somebody, I would probably use shrink wrap or solid wire um, all the way down. But uh, since it's just me, uh, there's a little electrical tape on there, and that's all right. Um, Preamp section is a 12AX7, 
and the phase inverter is a 12AX7. Um, I also use a 12AT7 sometimes. Got a volume, tone, and the one uh, particular thing about sweep tubes is they, they tend to like a constant voltage on the screen. So in this case, I've used a 0A2 voltage regulator tube. Now what that does is that supplies a constant 150 volts to the screens um, and it keeps the tubes very happy. So uh, let's fire it up and see how it sounds. All right, so I've got the base bolt over my shoulder over here, um, fired up. Uh, it's turned up about a quarter of the way, playing through this 10-inch speaker right there behind me. Uh, you'll find this amp has a has a good solid bottom end sound. Um, I'm not playing through any effects right now, uh, but let's give it a whirl and, and see how it goes. Kids are asleep and they have to go to school. Sometimes it's hard to be an amp builder. Anyway, we'll hear more from this amp later. Thanks for watching and keep tuning in. Please subscribe if you like what you see.